The Ohio-class submarine is the biggest sub ever built for the U.S. Navy. This gigantic group of submarines represents the very pinnacle of American deep-sea engineering and is home to some of the most lethal weapons on the planet. The nuclear capabilities from these subs are a range of thousands of miles, and the power of destruction from them is much bigger than that of nuclear blasts seen in World War II. Let's take a closer look at this destructive beast. But before we get started, if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more just like it, remember to give us a like and subscribe to Military World to get more sent straight to your notifications. Back in the 1970s, the U.S. Navy began planning its fifth series of ballistic missile submarines. They were designed to be 560 feet long and 18,750 tons submerged and would make the Ohio-class the largest American submarine ever built. The Electric Boat Division of General Dynamics, based in Connecticut, built the 18 Ohio submarines between 1981 and 1997. The Pacific Fleet is stationed at Bangor in Washington. The Atlantic Equivalent Fleet is at Kings Bay, Georgia. The crew on each sub is made up of 15 officers and 140 enlisted servicemen. The submarines are officially meant to dive to 800 feet, but that number is understood to be closer to 1,500. The power plant tasked with moving this huge sub is the General Electric S8G nuclear reactor, which turns two steam turbines and provides up to 60,000 horsepower to the vessel. The sub is also equipped with a 325 horsepower Magnatech auxiliary prop motor. The Ohio sub is streamlined to operate entirely underwater at speeds of 30 knots or 34 miles per hour and remains submerged indefinitely. Only food and water for the crew limits the amount of time spent in the ocean depths. Although primarily a launcher of nuclear weapons, each of these subs is equipped with four 533mm torpedo tubes. The Ohio class is stealthy, so plan A for these vessels was to remain unseen. But if forced into a fight with an enemy sub, it has the ability to return fire and destroy the aggressor. The torpedo most often used with the Ohio class has been the MK-48 guided weapon, but this has now been upgraded to the MK-48 ADCAP. The MK-48 is a heavyweight torpedo with a warhead of 647 pounds, which has been used by the U.S. Navy since 1972. The torpedo can be operated with or without wire guidance, and the system has active and passive acoustic homing. The range of this torpedo is up to 31 miles at a speed of 25 miles per hour. After launch, the weapon carries out target search, acquisition, and attack procedures, delivering to a depth of 3,000 feet. The Ohio-class sub is also equipped with eight launchers for an MK-2 torpedo decoy. There's also electronic warfare equipment on board in the form of the WLR-10 threat warning system and the WLR-8 surveillance receiver courtesy of Massachusetts-based company GTE. This uses seven YIG-tuned and vector-tuned superheterodyne receivers to operate from 50 MHz up to J-band. On top of this, there's also an acoustic interception and countermeasure system called the ANWLY-1, developed by Northrop Grumman. This was developed to provide the submarine with an automatic response against torpedo attacks. But it's the nuclear arms that set these submarines apart and make them so lethal. These are stored in an elevated position behind the sail. The first eight Ohio-class subs were all built with their silos filled with Trident C-4 missiles. These weighed 73,000 pounds and had a maximum range of 4,000 nautical miles. These missiles were then replaced with Trident II D-5 weapons that weigh 130,000 pounds. The U.S. Navy has said that these have a range of 6,500 nautical miles. To put that in perspective, that's enough range to hit nearly every target in the Northern Hemisphere. Each of these newer missiles carries 12 Mark IV reentry vehicles. Each of these Mark IV reentry vehicles carries a single thermonuclear warhead. Almost all of the warheads are of the W76-1 variety with a yield of 90 kilotons. This is the same as 90,000 tons of TNT. In 2020, the U.S. introduced a new low-yield variant of the W76, the W76-2. These have a yield of 4 to 5 kilotons. There are 14 Ohio-class subs available, and the aim is to always keep as many at sea at any given time. 
To do this, the Navy keeps two to four submarines in dry dock at any one time and sends the rest of the subs out on patrol, returning from patrol, training, or actively on nuclear deterrence patrol. These are comprised of two crews of 15 officers and 144 enlisted service people. This lets the submarine deploy more frequently and at short notice if needed. The Ohio-class subs were introduced during the Cold War, and at this point, the subs spent as much as 60 to 70 percent of their time at sea. Now, an Ohio-class sub spends an average of 2.3 patrols per year at sea. This is down from 4.1 per year when the Cold War was at its peak. Each patrol lasts an average of 70 days, which is much shorter than other ships. As of 2010, the United States and Russia signed the New Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty. This limited the number of deployed strategic nuclear weapons to 1,550 and also reduced nuclear weapons delivery systems to a maximum of 700. Applying this to the Ohio-class sub and each warhead on each Trident II D-5 missile counted as a nuclear weapon. Each missile was classed as a delivery system. The subs were capable of a huge amount of nuclear weapons alone, as much as 24 missiles with 12 warheads each. Because of this, the Navy filled four silos for each submarine with concrete. This limited the number of missiles each ship could carry to 20, and the warheads on each missile were also reduced. There were also big changes to the subs as well, seeing as their nuclear capability was no longer needed in the same way. The Navy converted four of the subs, Ohio, Michigan, Florida, and Georgia, into guided missile vessels rather than for nuclear launching. The Trident missiles were removed, and 22 silos were modified to carry seven Tomahawk land attack cruise missiles. These huge subs are now able to carry a massive 154 cruise missiles, giving each vessel more firepower than an aircraft carrier can generate over the course of an entire day. The Tomahawks are loaded in seven-shot, multiple all-up round canisters in up to 22 missile tubes. These missile tubes have the ability to accommodate additional storage canisters for SOF equipment, food, and other consumables to extend the submarine's ability to remain deployed for longer stretches than needed. The missile tubes are also future-proofed to house payloads such as new types of missiles, unmanned aerial vehicles, and unmanned undersea vehicles. For onboard sensors, the vessel boasts surface search, navigation, and fire control radar courtesy of BPS, 15A, I, and J-band radar. The sonar suite includes IBM BQQ-6 passive search sonar, Raytheon BQS-13, BQS-15 active and passive high-frequency sonar, Western Electric BQR-15 passive towed array, and the active BQR-19 navigation sonar developed by Raytheon. Cole Morgan Type 152 and Type 82 periscopes are also present on the sub. Since being in operation, the Ohio submarines have been upgraded with the Lockheed Martin AN-BQQ-10 sonar processing system as part of the Acoustic Rapid Commercial Off-the-Shelf Insertion Program. The Ohio-class submarine has been an essential part of the U.S. Navy's fleet for decades and will be operational for another few years before its replacement. This will be the future Columbia ballistic missile subs. When the Ohio class is retired, the U.S. Navy will be thankful for their service and acknowledge that their presence with highly powerful nuclear deterrence was crucial during the Cold War and beyond. What are your thoughts on the Ohio class sub? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to Military World to get our latest videos straight to your notifications.